Hello everyone. Today we're going to be installing a data module for the Tesla. Um, I'm going to be doing it in the Model 3. I think it's very similar in the Model Y. Um, and it's a little different than what a lot of the ones you see out there on the internet are. So I purchased this from AliExpress. Um, it was actually cheaper than the just the data module, the USB data module itself. Um, and it kind of had a few more features, so I thought, hey, you know what, I'm going to try this out. So what we're looking at is it expands it out to four regular USB ports and two USB-C ports. And then on the back here, kind of shows us what's up here. We've got, you know, 12 watt for the USB, and then a 30 watt USB-C, and then a 65 watt USB-C. Now I'm not sure I haven't tried this yet, but like according to this, it seems that the data only is in the regular USB ports. I would have, I was expecting them to be there to be data on all of these, but uh, we'll see once we install it how that works. The front side here has a nice soft fuzzy texture, the same as what the OEM does here. So that's nice. And the kit comes along with this module, this removal tool, a Torx tool, a panel tool, as well as a USB cord, which I assume is there's some of you guys, depending on when the year was made, you'll need to do the USB um, kind of from up under the glove box into the side kind of panel here. Um, I'm gonna, not sure if I have to do it. If I don't have to do it, I'll just link, uh, I think a video of someone else doing that. So first off, we're gonna just pop this rubber pad out. And then, let's take the tool they sent with us, and you just pop it in under here, there's these little slots that it should fit in, like so, and then pull outwards. And then, so we've got that loose now, just kind of grab it with my hands work it up and then out it comes you can see that little tab there just kind of lift it up and push out at the same time pops off and out it comes now since my USB wasn't connected we can see it's just taped to the wire here. Okay, now that we've got that unwrapped, we can just take our new piece here and I'm just gonna plug the power cable in there and the USB cable in there. All right, we have that plugged in now. So I'm just going to kind of tuck it back there for now, but not going to completely fasten it in. I'm just going to test it out first. Alright, so I'm just going to try to plug my game controller in. So right now you can see it's needing a um, game controller. So I just plug it in. So that is working. I don't need to put a data cable in, clearly my car has it. Um, if it isn't working, chances are you'll have to put that data cable in. Now I also had a USB to USB-C adapter to try it out to see if there is any data connection in the USB-C ports of this hub, and there is not, so just a little um, heads up for anyone planning to buy it. There's no data for 
the USB-C, which I'm a little disappointed. I was just kind of expecting that there would be. Um, but yeah, so we've got four ports on here that are data compatible and then two that aren't. So huge, huge amount of ports that I'm probably not ever going to need, but um, still very happy with this product, I think. All right, so now I'm just going to line up these kind of these pins with the clips and just jam it in. Bottom and top. That's very nice and solid. Looks clean, looks factory. Wow. Very happy. And I'll be able to put some music USBs in there if I want. Game controller, whatever. So, very cool.